Yeah, we're out here at Auburn Station. We've um, been chasing a few cattle killers. And, uh, we've had a bit of, bit of success. We got a few animals last night, a couple definitely in the cattle, cattle killer category. That's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Cattle killer, cattle killer category. Yeah, well, uh, we're out on the Bay and River, the West Bay and River, down on Auburn Station. We've come down here to catch some big cattle killers. Um, we launched the boat this morning. Um, we've set a large pig carcass further down the river at a place called the Junction. Um, that's an area where there's lots of big crocodiles that hang out. Um, so we're going to be, once it gets dark, we're going to head down there. So we've got all the gear ready. Um, We've got the snout ropes lined up on the deck space here. Um, I've got the harpoon pole here. That's basically that harpoon that goes gets lodged into the back of the crocodile's neck. Um, that's attached to a cord line down here. Uh, there's a hundred meters on there. So what happens is is um, my good partner and good mate Roger. He, uh, he basically drives a boat, I'm at the front on the harpoon, and then once the harpoon goes in, I'll yell, we're on, we're on, we're on. Roger will then cut the motor, and he will uh, trim the motor up, and he'll come up and grab that big hand line that I just showed you, and start fighting the crocodile out. So it's Roger's job to fight the crocodile out on the cord line. Uh, it's a real patience thing, and Roger has more patience than I do, so he's, he's very good at doing that. Um, yeah, and then basically we fight the crocodile out for a while until we can get it tight enough to get it up beside the boat. And then Roger will also snout rope the crocodile. And the most dangerous part of the whole exercise is taping the crocodile's mouth closed, and that's also Roger's job. So, um, look, we've both got each other's lives in our hands, and we respect that, and we, uh, we make sure that we, we're always mindful of keeping each other safe. And uh, how good is this? We're actually trolling along, doing a bit of fishing, waiting for it to get dark. Um, we did catch a nice barramundi earlier in the day, a nice chrome barramundi, and we've given that to the cook to butter her up so she keeps making us biscuits and cakes. <laughs> she makes good biscuits and cakes. She does. Yeah, well it's Friday morning and uh, we've finally had some success. We've managed to harpoon quite a large crocodile. We've fought him out through the night. Um, Roger's just doing the last of the knots just to secure him before we start to motor back to the river to drag this crocodile out of the water. Now we're not going to have any real idea on how big this crocodile is until we actually have him out of the water. Uh, Roger thinks he's about 4.4 4 metres, I think he's about maybe 4.6 or 4.7. Oh, Fettle down. He's tired. What a night. Aaron got a cracking shot for harpoon in this crocodile that's well over 4.5 metres. That was about 3am and the sun was starting to poke its head up by the time we managed to get that snout rope and tape on it. Woo! It's a cracking shot and a cracking animal to boot. Awesome. So what are we doing now? So now we've got it tied off to our boat and we're slowly making our way back where I think the only way we're going to get it back to somewhere good to skin it is to winch it onto the boat trailer and use that as our transport. I'm glad it's a big boat trailer because it's a very big crocodile and there's more than one out there. Would have seen Guaranteed four in the one vicinity, all over four meters. And uh, I don't know, I think at least a dozen between that three, three and a half meter mark. So the problem that the station had here is certainly a serious problem. And they've been losing a lot of cattle. And we've got 25 tags, so we're just gonna pick on the worst 25 cattle killers they got. 
and we'll nail it. This is the sort of country we're in. This is remote Northern Territory. This is over on the border of the Kimberleys. And then uh, I'll just take you up here. What we've done is we've pulled the crocodile's head up out of the water. So as we're motoring up, uh, his body doesn't fill up with water. And then this is him here. Yeah, so we've, uh, we've got this large crocodile tied up to the side of the boat. We're motoring back to the boat ramp. Now this boat is 6.7 metres long. And this crocodile, I guess we're going to find out when we get back to the boat ramp just how big he is. Uh, sorry about the shaky footage, but this is what we've just achieved. The A-Team. Hey! And uh... And it's where you've been blooming, look. Yeah. And look at the size of this thing. Oh, look at this bite mark here. From where he's been bitten by another crocodile. He'll be fighting over whatever they damn well want to fight about fucking good effort roger good effort mate good shot with the harpoon 